you got the negative self-talk or the negative talk from other people and your self-esteem is on the floor and you are ready to boost that self-esteem up. Otherwise, you're going to fall find your, yourself physically on the floor. Don't worry. I got you. I got an answer for you. Actually, Mel Robbins has an answer for you. I uh, heard her on Sean Stevenson's podcast, The Model Health Show. She uh, talks about how you have to learn yourself. And I already explained uh, what that is. A little bit about frameworks, your internal framework, your the knowledge of yourself. Journaling, uh, as far as actionable tips, journal. Journal your unconscious thoughts. And uh, there's, there's quite a few journaling prompts that you could do. One that I personally like to do, one of my favorite journaling prompts, is I just, uh, it's the, uh, it's called the morning pages or the afternoon pages. The morning pages is you just set a time for 25 minutes and you just write whatever comes to your mind. It doesn't matter how tired you are. It doesn't matter how, you know, upset you are. It doesn't matter if you feel like writing, don't feel like writing. If you have something impactful to say, if you, uh, if you're right, if your handwriting sucks or not, it doesn't matter. Just write for 25 minutes. And then when the time's up, you put the pen down. You can always start the timer over if you want to, but the point is give yourself 25 minutes, let your ideas flow, and that's just letting your unconscious kind of come to play. Also, uh, learning about yourself, find people who will give you constructive feedback. Constructive feedback means it ain't always positive, but it ain't always negative either. It's objective. It's understandable. They you know, they are open to seeing your points of view. Um, They're open to different perspectives, but more often than not, they're just going to tell you what they see and they're not expecting anything from you. Constructive feedback, that'll be very helpful. And you could get constructive feedback even from people who aren't telling you anything, but they're just reacting to you. That's also constructive feedback. If you find that you are, that you have a perception of yourself, a a framework, an inner framework that is not matching your reality, then it's time to change your environment. Find a way to change your environment. That could be a great example. Uh, There, I can't tell you how many people I met in my personal life who would make friends who have you know lifelong friends or friends for years but when they meet me or other people they are so quick to talk about how bad their friends are but the thing is you are who you spend most of your time with so if you spend most of your time with your friends and you think your friends are lazy or unmotivated or you know not as great as you are and you have to do everything for them, then, you know, there's a good chance that you're also that kind of person. Because, again, that's who we are as social creatures. We connect and we mold ourselves to fit into the tribe that we're in. So it's time to get new friends. Like, (laughs) it's time to get new friends. Same thing goes with your you know, the physical place that you're in, that's the same thing goes with uh, the jobs that you're in, the external framework, matching your internal framework, if those aren't congruent, then you have to find a way to make them congruent, which means one of them has to change, you either change the environment, or you change how you see yourself, which one is it? Whatever thing that you know you have to do or whatever thing that you know you want to do, but you are wallowing in self-pity, you are wallowing in negative self-talk, but you, the thought comes into your mind to do the thing 
that you know you want to do or you know you have to do in order to uh, move on to the next step, the moment that thought comes into your head, count down from five and then get up and do the thing. Do not give yourself time to rethink or go back into self-pity because that's what your brain will do. So for example, let, let's do something light. Let's say you know you have a pile of dishes and that you have to wash, but you're you're tired, you're over it, you're you had a bad day, you know, you just got into a fight with, you know, someone close to you and you're just not filling those dishes. The, no one will blame you if you just left those dishes there. However, if the thought comes into your head automatically, wash dishes so you can have a plate to eat, or you don't even need a reason, just wash dishes. The moment you have, you recognize that positive thought, you know, that productive thought, because you know washing dishes is productive. We all know that. The moment you have that thought, Count down, five, four, three, two, one, get up, go to the sink. It switches the brain, it, uh, it keeps that thought, it makes that thought the top focus of your, uh, in your mind. Uh, let's see. Also, another tip that Mel Robbins gave that I thought was pretty cool, uh, very simple, give yourself a high five. Just literally, hands up, is an instant positivity boost. She explains why there's dopamine involved, there's like celebration involved and all of that, but it's actually pretty cool. Uh, and then Sean Stevenson himself, uh, this was his tip where you practice gratitude. So learning to say thank you to, just learning to say thank you, learning to be appreciative of what you have. Gratitude helps your brain open up its focus so you can see more and appreciate more around you, see the positive things of what you have, positive, positive things that you do that you might thought was not a big deal or maybe too small, but in reality is actually quite uh, useful and helpful. And that's more information that you add into your database, more information that you add to your self-knowledge, which then you can consciously refer to and pull out uh, when it comes to uh, encouraging other people's framework about you, pointing out other positive you know, it, you can start to make things more congruent between your internal framework and the external framework. All right. I hope these uh, tips were helpful. I hope that uh, you were able to gain something from this. If you like this video, I know you're going to like the other videos that I have. So check out uh, this last video that I did. I, I'll put up a card somewhere. Please comment. Uh, please tell me what you think. Uh, if you are going to try that journal prompt, and there are so many other pro journal prompts, so feel free to put that below. Like, share. Uh, I'm on Instagram. I even have a website, uh, and I'm actually going to write an article on Medium. I really enjoyed this video, and yeah, I'll see you next time.